Well, good afternoon and welcome to Ed's Orchids. Now, if you remember, if you saw my video, I think it was from yesterday, and I was looking at Phragmopediums, I showed you a Memoria Garon Weaver, which wasn't doing too well. So what I propose to do today is, is take it out of its pot, have a look at the roots, and uh, see what we can do. And I think I'm going to plant this up in some of the... Uh, Coconut us, I've just cleaned if the coconut or coconut us are clean enough yet. So I'm going to take this out of the pot, have a good look. There you are, see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh. About seven growths on it. But we'll have a look at it and we'll crown the growth properly. been in here for quite some time so it's time this was repotted. And what I do propose to do with this as well is when I put it in the coconut husk is to uh, put this one on the drip to see if it furs better than the others that I water twice a week now, see if it furs better than those that are not on the drip. So I'll just take this out of its pot. excessively good and they don't look excessively bad but it really should come in too is that plant really look at that there's a gap right there but I don't want to split anything now these days I'll take all this off as much as I can without damaging too much If you're wondering what this mark is here, I trapped it in the car door. <laughs> hey, the things you do when you're getting old. Because if you trap it in the car door at my age, it doesn't half bruise. I think they bust some capillaries. Now a lot of these roots are really fastened onto this uh, fastened onto this bark, so. I don't propose to ruin many roots by doing that. So let's see how many soft ones there are. I'm going to take all the soft roots off. Well, there aren't many soft roots. So what I think I'll do with this one is just... Uh, just give it a good clean up and uh, make it look nice and tidy. Now somebody said I've been buying uh, Phragmopedium seedlings, well I haven't. When I come to split you get little plants like this. Can you see it there, that one. And those are what I've been using. So uh, I haven't been buying any frag plants, I've just been, uh, see there's more growths coming up there. I've just been using the little ones off, uh, off the mature plants. So we'll just clean this one up and uh, see what we can do with it. See those are, those are the roots and uh, there's a lot of them you know with the, the roots sticking out, the velamin's gone and just showing the root part. So I'll check on all those. Well, having cleaned this up the best as I can down here, and there wasn't many bad roots on, but this plant is crying out to be split. Look at that. All the roots on this side are coming this way. All the roots on this one are coming this way. So, uh, I think by splitting it, it will make a real two nice plants there. I mean, they're almost coming apart now. So we'll get the secateurs and just nip through it, hopefully. Probably I'll ruin one or two roots, but never mind. There we are. See how easy that came apart. 
and it was only held together by roots. I mean, there's no point on it now where I can uh, drop some dragon's blood. So now I've got two plants of Garum Weaver, so I'll clean each one up and repot them. I'll have a look at the. Uh, I'll have a look at the what's his name first the uh, the cocoa husk and see it's see if it's suitable. Just take off the bad leaves. Right, just have a look at the coconut husk now. Well, I've got one bucket of the coconut husk. I have got two buckets full, so I should have enough to uh, do at least one of those plants. And uh, so we'll just take the TDS, see what it is. Now that one is a bit much. It's 17. So we'll have a look at the other one. Well I've removed all the uh, cocoa husk from the two buckets and put it in this one and uh, filled it up with uh, RO water. So we'll just test, test the uh, TDS of it now. It would be pretty low but uh, then do it again tomorrow or Sunday and we'll see how much salt has leaked out for uh, the, over the last couple of days. So we'll get the TDS meter, switch it on, put it in there, wag it around and it's what? Oh, switched it off. Yeah, look at that. Wouldn't believe it, would you? One. So we'll see what it's like in uh, 48 hours. Well, this one has got the shortest route, so I'll just put it in this little pot here. And I think I can keep it in this one litre pot. It looks very good. But I'll have to put it in with uh, what it's just come out of. And I've thrown throw a few more uh, growth zones in. Just for 48 hours. No special reason why I've done it. Just sort of a, a whim. You know, that we have at times. I mean, that looks like a pretty bad bruise, doesn't it? It's nothing compared to that little finger. I can bend it, but it won't straighten. Look at that. What they call a sticky finger something to do with the uh, tendons uh, being locked in a sheath and they say you need an operation to straighten it but I'm not going to bother it's not bothering me that much For, uh, for a couple of days, stick a label back in, and I need some more potting material, don't I? So, we'll get some more of that. Well, we'll use the same uh, pot that the big bigger plant came out before I split it, and uh, go in there for another 20, uh, 48 hours. It's a bit dry this uh, this medium so uh, I'll have to give them a good watering before before I say they're fine. Because these plants as you know, uh, these garden weavers that are cross between uh, Wallace CI and uh, what's the other one? Pierce CI. And the Pierce eye, for many months in a year, 
they're, they're completely submerged in water. So, uh, and the Wallace here loves warm water. Uh, love, and the Wallace here likes uh, likes it wet. So, if you've got these plants, make sure you don't keep them damp. Just keep them wet. That's the idea of the drip, drip system. Keeps them wet and uh, it also provides them with fresh oxygen all the time. You know, the water in the pot just changes. So that doesn't very good. And yeah, that's another one done. We don't need to do any more to that. Right. Well, those are the two plants uh, split up, so they should do very well. Uh, there's, there's plenty of growth on them, there's, uh, the root system's not bad and uh, they should make two very fine plant sores. Anyhow, I'm sorry I can't carry on and do them in the, uh, in the coconut husted for now, so uh, I think we'll just have to wait till Sunday to make sure everything's okay. So until then, uh, because I'm out all day tomorrow, there's a, a Zoom uh, meeting on and uh, it's from the uh, garden centre at Whitley, which is an RHS centre here, and uh, the zoom in the inside, so uh, at two o'clock we're going to all have a look at it. So until then, uh, thank you for all my subscribers, and uh, thanks for all the comments, I'm, uh, I try to answer them as quick as I can. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.